Дядь Дим, а расскажите вот про концепцию. Please tell us about design concept of this knife. How it was developed? What was it meant for? Why it is shaped this way? What it is made of? I'm looking at this knife. It really gives a comfortable feel to my hand. It's likely that you made it relying on your personal experience. I know you possess a pool of experience with Yaido. Surely you have put the concept of Yaido into this knife. Tell us in a more detailed manner what it is like. How did it come into being? When examining Yaido for a while, I came to terms with the idea that the art is never high unless the principle is operating. The things which result from examining Koro, some kinds of principles, principles of movement, can be later applied in any practice. On meeting my colleague Viktor Tarasov and falling into talk with him about different knife concepts, I said, look, I've got an idea of a city knife, you can hardly call it tactical, generally speaking, it is kind of a self-protection civil knife. So what is the backbone of the idea? First of all, it is important how the knife is positioned and where it is located relative to a body. You have to keep in mind that wherever you locate your weapon, your knife to be specific, it must be positioned in such a way as to be easy to carry, easy and fast to remove and to ensure effective use as a result. The less time you spend on removal, the stronger your chances to survive. There again, it's hard to say, hard to classify the knife as a purely self-protection civil knife, because there exists a legal aspect and using a knife is always associated with articles of a law. You must have in mind two articles. These are justifiable defense and extreme necessity. You must know well whether you are within the law or not. Nevertheless, it doesn't prevent you from being engaged in practice, practice of self-understanding, in particular by means of an art. This is how the idea was born. For example, the opponents carry no weapons, so we have no weapons in our hands, and there is a kind of interaction between us, throw interaction or blow interaction. We will be separated by distance. The distance is determined by the speed of our reactions and length of our attacks. In some or other way, we choose a distance and are walking with this distance. What is going to happen as soon as you take out a knife? First of all, you will change your stance. As a rule, the person comes up to his opponent closer to bring the knife between them. As a rule, the stance will be changed. If an opponent changes the right-hand stance to the left-hand one, his lunge, even regular ones, will get slower as he got used to walking in a different stance. This is our advantage, you, could, you should remember. Next thing, what will I be doing? I will be putting the distance between us and you will be trying to shorten it in order to get your advantage. As soon as I take the knife out, we build up a distance which is bigger now but based on the same principles. Speed of our reactions and length of our, at our, of our attacks. This is what Yaido is about. Yaido is winning by means of peace. The moment you take out your weapon and try to pursue your advantage, you are in fact kind of sinking through it. My task is to step away from the line of attack and attack the nearest thing to me, your weapon hand. Your attack is on, shifting movement, cutting, finishing blows. You can take this stance. Just make a sudden shift in movement, Mudzukuguri. The hand is immediately cut. Then finishing cuts, finishing blows, another thing. For example, Monoruku, attack. We make a shifting movement and a snatch. The same things can be done using a knife. You attack, I make a shifting movement and cut. In a situation when a knife is hidden in a sheath, you reach after the sheath, I catch your hand and cut again, then hold it. Yes, you 
Что касается носки, As for да, carrying weapons, wherever you relocate your weapon on the left side or behind your back, there is always a line your hand travels when you take a swing. The only location which can eliminate the line of travel is under your right hand. You can remove your knife out there directly toward your opponent. The sheath may need some improvement. If I improve the sheath, I would make a strap which is spring-loaded to make removal of the knife easier, or would add a spring or magnetic for more comfortable carrying. It may cause an increase in price of the, of the sheath, but they are usually produced in series. I have experience of creating a knife and putting it into serial production. Tuning and improvement is a minor question, post-production one, so to speak. The sheath is simple, made of good compact leather, I like it. There are two ways of carrying it. As for me, I locate the knife horizontally under my right hand attached to the belt. It is better when the belt has a plastic piece which is meant for pistol holster. It will also fit the sheath. There is a strap of 35 millimeters. What another important thing made the idea? It is production of training knives similar to original ones by their weight and shape to be able to work with weight characteristics. Like with Yaido, there, where there are Shinkans and Magitos. Anyway, there must be a mass size evaluation model you got used to carrying and using. You have a knife. What does working proactively mean? It's a situation when I understand I will have an assault distance, a threat, and you are certainly trying to reach up to the knife. The removal can be very fast if the grip is well practiced, and I can attack by making reverse movements. We walk, you try, here an attack already takes place, reverse, cutting as well. A similar attack can be carried out with the knife, for example, by holding your weapon hand. I pull and immediately cut. The knife is called quite pretentiously Inazuma by analogy with the shape's name and is translated as lightning. Why? Because the knife concept implies its fast removal. What else is important? Major efforts were made to design the handle to make it hand feeling without slicing into the skin, providing a comfortable grip. The hand feel and handle must be designed in such a way as to use it with both reverse and direct grips, primarily with reverse grip. Why? Because when the knife is located in your right hand with its blade down, it's easier to use the reverse grip to remove the knife. Moreover, if we assume that your opponent will be anyway wearing some clothes or outfit, the reverse grip is more preferable as it ensures firm holding of the knife and you can damage the clothes or outfit by thrusts, not by cutting. This is the reason why the handle was made this way. It has coarse ribbon and is easy to hold both by bare and gloved hands, preventing them from slipping down. Besides, we have to stay within the low. The guard is not seek to prevent the knife from falling into a category of weapons. The knife is now characterized as the one for household use. If we hold the knife by direct grip and thrust it several times into a target, you will find out to your amazement that pressure is not brought on the index finger, it's brought on these fingers. The handle is People say, the handle as if sticks to these fingers. Much work was done on the shape of the handle. 
Why do some people say that the handle is short when uh, they take the knife? The handle was intentionally made short, so that the butt plate does not fall beyond the little finger to provide holding the handle with all your fingers. In accidents, the index finger is most vulnerable. These fingers are far apart. To cut the little finger is more difficult than to cut the index finger with a regular strike. The entire walk was built with the handle in mind. The handle turned out to be comfortable, personally for me, in particular in direct grip. There are many knife schools practicing direct grips. The knife is a tool, first of all, not a weapon. Apart from everything else, the knife must have good cutting specifications. That's why it has straight and high slopes. Not in curve, not lenticular, just straight and steady. The shape of the blade must be, to my opinion, as simple as possible, brim-shaped, without unnecessary details. If you cut it here, it becomes similar to a kisaki very much. You cut off the lower part of the blade and you get a kisaki. Thus, there was developed a hybrid called Inazuma. It could be cut right to the butt, although a small shock surface was left here, which is more likely for marketing purposes, and it can also be sharpened or covered with shock teeth if you want it. Displacing a small part of the slope to the center of the blade does not affect its cutting capability. As for material, steel is quite good for the things the knife is meant for. You don't have to cut manila ropes around the cloak, you don't have to pull something out. The slope is 0.5. It will provide a good cutting. For serial production, its characteristics are good enough. This is how the knife came into being. Holding the weapon hand. Reach after the hand, pull, pull the body and cut. The attack will not necessarily be fatal. The neck attack is fatal, surely enough. If you don't want the attack to be fatal, you can do the same thing by cutting the forehead. There are many blood vessels, it will not cause death, the blood will cover the eyes, and visual contact will be lost, your opponent will not be able to see anything. Of course, it is not a panacea for all wounds, but it gives you a chance, especially within small town spaces in such kinds of interactions. Even in cases when the opponent is behind you or drew you close, you must hold his arm to your body first and then walk. You can reach him in the fourth sector, remove his arm, injure him, so on. If you were knocked to the ground, it may happen as well. You have two available locations for the weapon. Either your left hand, because if a person is knocked to the ground, he curves up, you take out the knife from the left shank, or you take it out from the right side very fast. In both cases, you always have your weapon within easy reach. This is what the concept is about. The sphere for creativity is really unlimited. What can I say? I made the knife for my personal reasons, plans, tests. If someone else likes it, I will be happy. If it helps somebody, I will be happy twice as much. Anyway, I recommend it to everyone, to my friends as well. I've got many friends who carry the knife. It's not a secret that Alexander Turvin has such a knife. It's not a secret that Yuri Federation has such a knife. 
So, if you are interested, come to see it, hold it. If you have any ideas regarding its tuning or improvement, you are always welcome to tell us and we will make some changes. Anyway, this is the final product for the moment. The idea was born here in Russia to be realized abroad and to come back to Russia again. It's an amazing story as regards the knife of a serial production. Happy New Year to everyone!